Hey guys, Steve Houston. Welcome back to my channel. What I want to talk to you about today was just a kind of a simple story. You know, life is hard, and I've said it for a long time. Business is even harder. And if you expect to have any success at either of those, you've got to be able to take the punches to the face and keep moving forward. It's exactly what I said to Angela yesterday. We take the punches, and we just keep moving forward. What choice do we have, right? You expand, never contract, go forward, never retreat. If you want to have success, so... I was watching a video today, and I don't have it right now, so to share it with you. I'll try to post it a little bit later. But it kind of gave you that real life as a movie years ago where that guy just kept getting punched, 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 and he refused to fight back, got on his motorcycle, they took his motorcycle, they beat it all up, tore it up, threw it in the lake, and he just kept moving forward, refusing to engage. And that's kind of what I'm talking to you about. If you don't do these things, you really have zero chance of success. That's the bottom line. What you do after you get punched in the face defines who you are and the success that you're going to have in your life, period, right? Now, these are my findings. They don't necessarily be yours, but I've looked at a lot of people, a lot of our agents, and the ones that push through rather than push out are the ones that seem to stick around. Some of them have massive success. Some just have success, which is great anyway, right? Most people spend their entire lives working to make money. I just had a brand new agent join us not long ago, and right away they asked a very important question, which I wanted to share with you today, which is the topic of the video, so stick with me for a second. They said, what is your best advice for a successful start as a new agent? Wow, what a great question, and I thought today that I would share the answers that I gave. So here it goes. Number one, hard work and determination, by far, good work ethic, never give up. Never quit. Keep pushing forward no matter how long it takes for as long as it takes. You dig into the training, take tons of notes. There's something about writing things down that sticks into your memory longer. Take imperfect action and get on any coaching calls that you have with your team, not on these insurance industry gurus out there, these influencers that have never sold a policy, or if they have, it was many, many years ago. We sell policies every day, every week, every month. So we have current knowledge, plus you want to do it with somebody on your team who has a financial interest if you don't succeed here. You make a dollar, they make a dime, right? So ask lots of questions and have patience with yourself as you go. As I tell everyone who joins our agency, be willing to be bad before you're good. In other words, have total immersion. I find this to be a problem with agents. Don't just stick your toe in it. And in my experience, people that jump around too much rather than go step by step through the entire training, watch all the videos in order and take notes, they seem to always be stuck in learning mode, always missing something, asking questions that are very well revealed in the training because they're skipping around, right? It's, it's, it's chapter one, chapter two, chapter three for a reason. It's not chapter one, chapter six, chapter four, right? They, they, the people hop from chapter one, then they skip to chapter four, then they skip back to eight, then they go back to two, and all that does is lead to confusion. You've heard me say it before, a confused mind does nothing but shut down. Lastly, have a no fear attitude here. This is a brand new venture for you. Who cares if you screw up a lead? Doesn't matter. Don't be afraid to screw it up. No one cares, right? That's why we buy leads in volume. It's the law of large numbers, not low numbers. You turn that lead over, call back in six months, they'll long forget you even called, right? No single lead is going to determine your success here. They're all training wheels. They're all training wheels. There is nothing that you can do that can't be fixed. I promise. And when you feel like quitting, and you will, I promise that as well, because the enemy will be whispering into your ear every step of the way. And if you're on the right track, you're going to get more of that negative whispering than you would if you're on the wrong track. Why? Because they want to knock you off the track. So keep on keeping on and you will succeed. And again, don't be afraid to ask stupid questions. Don't worry about them being stupid. That's what we're here for, to help you learn a brand new skill. You've heard me say before, when you were growing up and you were learning to walk and you fell down, because we all fall down while we're learning to walk, your mother didn't walk up and slap you upside the head and say, hey, stop walking. You weren't made for that. No. We learn to walk by falling down, by failing. This is no different. I don't know why people come into this business with such expectations that they ought to be natural at it right after they get their license. You won't be. 
No one's natural at this business. Get around other successful elite multiple six-figure and seven-figure earners that are succeeding in the area that you want to succeed in. That's critical. That are succeeding in the area that you want to succeed in. If they're where you want to be in your life eventually, and they're in your business that you were trying to succeed at, that's who you want to connect with. If you want to be a successful insurance agent, hanging around successful auto mechanics isn't going to get it done, right? Anything you want to succeed at, try not to be on an island. That was a very difficult thing for me because I'm type A. I can do it myself. I don't need anybody else. Something I fight all the time. Be around other people. You're going to need others to lean on at times in your career. I promise. You become the average of the five people you hang around with. So choose carefully. The wrong ones could derail your life. And don't be shy. Right? Get yourself out there. Be willing to expose yourself. So there it is. Whether you succeed at your new skill set or not really comes down to just a few things. Which are, are you going to stick with it? Are you going to ask questions? And remember, everyone benefits from the questions and the answers. Five or six months from now, you'll be the one offering the answers to other. Are you going to keep going when you really feel like you want to quit? The result is yours to make. You choose. Paying it forward. That's what I love about the industry that you and I are in. We only make money and support our loved ones by the value that we add to others. Period. Like I always say, I hope that I return the value to you today that you gave me by watching this video. And until the next one, God willing, safe travels. See ya.